Hi, I'm Nick, and on this episode of First Part Wine, we're going to be talking about the Pinot Project. Now, the wonderful folks over at the Pinot Project were nice enough to send me this bottle, uh, and I'm quite grateful to them for it. It's, uh, it's a delicious thing to be able to try some Pinot from the Pinot Project from 2014. Now, the Pinot Project is one of those wines that hangs out towards the bottom end of the spectrum, so we're talking in the uh, 5 to $10 range. Now, for some wines, like Chardonnay, or let's say Cabernet Sauvignon, yeah, five to ten dollars you can find some good dependable stuff in there now pinot noir on the other hand is notoriously fickle and difficult to grow i mean it's not totally unreliable but it might be like driving a 20 year old british car you're probably not going to do it across country and not have a couple of things go wrong so with that in mind let's see how the pinot project does give it a little pour all right right off the bat you can tell it's a little bit lighter uh, which is what we'd expect from Pinot Noir. So dead on right there. Looks good. Let's get a little smell. Mm. So sure enough, right off the bat, have a little bit of um, cherry, cranberry, a uh, little bit of earthiness, kind of like a mushroomy kind of note. But then there's a nice amount of like baking spices that come into play. So that's a very nice uh, trait to also smell in here. So pretty dead on for nice, simple, easygoing Pinot Noir. We'll see how it tastes. Really solid. So a lot of the same things in the nose come through on the body. Um, definitely on the leaner side, as you'd expect from Pinot Noir. Nothing new there. Um, but same kind of cranberry cherry thing. Little on the less ripe side. So, I mean, it's not like stand-up punch in the face like kind of ripe fruit. But it's good. Nice dependable fruit notes. Uh, you got a little bit of that baking spice still coming in. Like a little bit of like a cinnamon kind of brown sugar thing. Uh, mixed with like an earthy undertone. Maybe like... A little bit of mushroom in there. Very nice, very subtle tannin on the ending. Not a lot, very easy and gentle. So that's nice too. Um, overall, as far as 6 to $10 Pinot Noir goes, pretty dependable. Uh, I would give it a solid, let's say 80. Um, definitely better than your average bear, but not quite you know over the top standout, go buy a whole case. Um, try it first, see if you like it pretty good uh, nice everyday kind of every night kind of wine nothing bad here uh, some good stuff from the Pinot Project hailing out of California so thanks for watching uh, if you're liking the videos uh, feel free to leave some comments down there um, and subscribe to the YouTube channel thanks for watching cheers